Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Phil from Disc Golf Course Preview. We are here at Lazar Park in West Monroe, Louisiana, getting ready for the 22nd annual Turkey Shoot Disc Golf Tournament. It's really nice, this river that runs alongside the course. Uh, but there was a tornado that came through and knocked out a lot of the holes, so they're combining the original course with high water course, and uh, that's what you're gonna see today. So we start off with hole one, it's a par three, 335 feet. The road and beyond to the left will be OB, but it's a pretty straight shooter. All you really gotta do is just to flip up highs or a nice flick to get to the green. Hole number two is a par three, 420 feet. The road and beyond to your left will be OB, and there will also be a painted line uh, alongside that wire that the drone just flew over. Uh, but really, if you can just get a, a disc right through these trees, and or if you have a really powerful forehand to go around the tree, that's a really good play. But this is an elevated green, and it's a danger zone for any putt that hits the cage. It's definitely going to roll away. Hole number three is a par three, 373 feet. The road and beyond to your left is OB. There's actually a tennis court as well to your right. Uh, you should have no problem going there, but if you do happen to land there, it will be OB. Uh, there's a little bit of trees to deal with, but if you can get a disc through the trees and navigate through here, you have a wide open putt and should be able to score pretty easy in this hole. Hole number four is a par three, 368 feet. The road and beyond to your right is OB. So a lot of people just play that nice flip up hyzer, riding uh, the road and then crashing in uh, towards the green. There's nothing guarding it. So it's a really wide open hole to be able just to, to throw and rip on it. Hole number five is a par three, 270 feet. Not a very long hole right here, this boat ramp will be OB, the river will be played as OB, and the parking lot to your right will also be played as OB. Again, not a very long hole, pretty self-explanatory. Just throw a straight disc mid-range and you'll get there. Hole number six is a par three, 198 feet, even shorter hole. There is kind of a little turn here, as you can see the drone. So most people play a flick into the green. Uh, the, I played a backhand turnover, it is possible. Uh, but it's an easy get with a flick. The only thing you don't want to do is go past the basket because that is danger. Hole number seven is a par three, 220 feet. This is a dog leg right. So you're gonna throw out of a gap and then right when you get up past here where the drone is, you're gonna immediately wanna turn right. So as close as you can get it uh, to the trees on a flick hyzer, it's a really good play. Uh, the green's not guarded by anything. Hole number eight is a par three, 450 feet, a nice rip. So off the tee, if you can get kind of a flex shot, you got that from a backhand, this is a really good play. Uh, this tennis court right here will be played as OB. There'll be painted lines uh, towards the poles as well on your left hand uh, side. So you don't wanna cross that because the poles and beyond will be OB in this hole as well. Hole number nine is a par three, 308 feet, really straight shot. It feels like it plays into some woods, but it's really on the, right on the edge of the wood line. The river and the painted lines on the poles, so the river behind the basket, the painted lines to the left, where they will be at, at the poles and beyond will be OB. Hole number 10 is a par three, 280 feet, the river on your left will be played as OB. I can tell you, you do not want to go left. Uh, it is danger, if you lose your disc in that river, you are most likely not getting it back. And where the pin is placed is just a danger zone. So either way you look at it, you're gonna have to putt and make a really good putt. Hole number 11 is a par three, 302 feet. Right off the tee, you're gonna have to navigate through these trees. So you can either try a hyzer to the right or you can fly as a drone goes and do a flick line uh, painted lines on those poles there will be painted lines uh, through the through the poles I should say all of that will be OB the driveway that you just flew over or the drone just flew over is OB as well hole number 12 is a par 3 202 feet a nice little putter shot not too much to this there is no OB on this hole 
So it's really the, one of the biggest scoreable holes out here. Uh, not a hard shot at all. Hole number 13 is a par three, 218 feet. The road and beyond uh, towards the basket will be OB. You will have to play through some trees. The, nice, uh, the nicest shot on this hole is a really high hyzer and it just comes in and sets up perfectly for it actually. And so once you get to the green, you should be able to score as long as you get through the trees. Hole number 14 is a par three, 308 feet. The road to beyond to your left and it will actually curl up into the pin as well. All of that will be OB, but if you can get a, a flat flip up hyzer right here and get through these trees and land, there is some room by the pin and it should be pretty scorable for most. Hole number 15 is a par three, 355 feet. Uh, where the drone is flying right now, the road and beyond to your left will be played as OB. Now, if you have a backhand, it will need to be low ceiling because that tree there to your right will have to go underneath. Uh, but if you have a flick on uh, this hole, it is a very good play. Hole number 16 is a par four. The only one uh, here at the Turkey Shoot Tournament it is a 503 foot shot. It's probably the easiest par four or one of the easiest par fours I've played. You can just rip it off the tee, the road and beyond to your right will be OB, but pretty much just rip it and then whenever you get into this green, you have a hyzer angle, you have a flick angle, really good chance to score on this hole uh, for sure. Hole number 17 is a par three, 208 feet. There is no OB on this hole, but I can tell you this is an ace run all day for your backhand hyzer. There is even a flick hyzer route. So one of the biggest scorable holes out here. Hole number 18 is a par three, 349, 45 feet. And uh, it's pretty straight, straight the entirety of the way. Not a lot uh, to mention about this hole because there is no OB. So if you go really long left or really long right, doesn't matter, it won't be OB. Uh, plays kind of nice to this elevated green. Uh, what I love about this hole is there's a memorial there for all the past disc golfers. I thought that was really cool. Hole number 19 is a par three, 270 feet, a nice little mid-range hole, not too long. There's no OB on this hole. You just wanna throw it to make sure you have a pretty low shot, low driven shot, able to skip into the green um, if you have it. And, but there's a really good flick route on this hole as well. Hole number 20 is a par three, 240 feet. As you can see as the drone's flying, just throw your straightest disc. It is not far at all. You should pick up a bird in this hole. There's no OB. There's really nothing to worry about. These past three holes are really some of the biggest scoreable holes out here. Uh, hole number 21 is a par three, 210 feet. This will be played as an island hole. So if you do not land within, obviously right here as the drone's flying on the island, you will proceed to the drop zone and you'll continue throwing there until you make the island. Great hole to end on, great hole to start on. Love this course. Hopefully you enjoyed the preview. Have a great tournament. See you.